everyone, this is Ava and welcome to my channel at Glow with Ava. If you are new to my channel, I cover everything you have to know about skincare, makeup, and wellness. So make sure to subscribe before we begin with today's video. Today's world, we're all about the next big thing, the next new technology, the next big innovation, the next new beauty gadget. But today we are gonna take a step back and go back to what people have been using centuries back for anti-aging techniques. And that is the Gua Sha. This is gonna be a Gua Sha and facial massage technique series that you can easily do at home. It's like a facial workout that you can just do at home. So make sure you tune into my channel and we can do this together for a nice, lifted, and firmed face. There's so many benefits to a and that's why it's been used for centuries. It's used for relaxing stiff muscles, lymphatic drainage, adult acne, skin brightening, skin lifting, so many benefits. If done properly, it can be so effective because it helps break down the connective tissue that hugs onto the muscles that sometimes interferes with optimal circulation. So today we're gonna to be focusing on how to use a guasa to help you fight your fine lines. Especially if you're 25 and over, I would highly recommend you follow this with me because believe it or not, those fine lines are developing underneath. So I'm gonna be focusing on five simple exercises that you can do at home with me. What you need is an oil, something like this. Um, just choose an oil that you've used previously before and you're not going to react to. If you are sensitive to oil and don't like the feeling, then you can also use a very hydrating and calming serum or ampule like this. This is one of my favorites to also do the Gua Sha technique on. Today, let's use an oil and I'm just gonna be using the Youth to People um, oil. So gently, Massage it into your hands and rub it in to get that circulation going. And then apply it to your face. Make sure to also apply it down to your neck area because we're also going to be going down there as well. And next up, you're obviously going to need a Gua Sha. These are available on Amazon or Sephora, whatever. I'm not really picky about what kind of Gua Sha you use. Okay, so our first exercise is going to focus around our laugh lines. And our laugh lines is right here. Some people, you know, have kind of prominently shown just like I do right here. If you don't, then you can just kind of start from your nose right here and then build a line right here. And then you can probably see where that is formed. And this gets accentuated um, the more you age because your skin produces um, a lot less collagen as you age and it can lead to sagging skin. So we're gonna help prevent that with your guasa. So first, you're gonna point it right here and then kind of go in zigzag motions to help fight the tension that is building up right in your left line, okay? So do that zigzag and then let's do it 10 times. focusing on the long ledge of the Gua Sha right here. Now we're gonna start from right here and then just lift it up towards your cheek until you hit that lymph node right here. Then when you hit it, just give it a little circulation, okay? So it's important because the, your lymphatic nodes are located here and here. So it's important to let that toxin up in a lifted motion and then let it out. All right, so let's begin to and this is not only great for that lifted effect for your cheekbones and cheek, but also helps to reduce the tension for people who have headaches and all of that. Okay, it's a really good exercise to get that tension out. Okay. Now 
Now let's go in with the other side, start right here and pull it up. And this feels so good for me, especially when I like go up like this. It's gonna depend on everyone how much tension you actually feel. Some people may feel a lot more tension than other people. And you know, if you do feel tension, that's a good thing, okay? You're just relaxing the muscles and tension that is building up right there. about gua side bar to mention is that you don't want to ever do it perpendicular so that you're moving it against your skin okay so when you do actually face it like this you want to make sure it's not at like a 90 degree angle but more like slanted towards like a 10 to 20 degree angle so it's going to be slanted almost like going with the flow of your skin and then lift it up all right so it's a very important technique all right, and the third exercise is going to be using this ledge once again and then start from your nose like the first exercise okay and then we are going to go up along right here and then once again to the lymph node and then relax that tension so it's going to be a very similar exercise to the second one that we did but it's more concentrated around your left line right here and then your cheekbone so I personally feel a lot more tension when I do it this way because it's actually targeting all the tension that is built up right around here while it's when you did it like this, it kind of glides it over, right? So it's important to give one that is just overall relaxing the muscle and then another one that is more targeted. And then once again, get that tension out. Okay. Do the same for the other side. Start from right here. Now the fourth exercise is going to be focusing on our jawline. That's the most important part, right? Personally for me. So we are going to go in with this part of the guasa and then just angle it right here. Okay. So then we're going to obviously go up towards the jawline and then it's important not to just stop there. You could, but to be more effective, we're going to go up and then lead it behind your ear and then let the tension out this way. So by doing that, not only does it help your jawline, but it also helps release the tension out to your lymphatic nose and then drain it out towards your neck. And it's really great exercise for people who have tech neck and a lot of tension built up um, in your neck. I personally have so much tension built up in my neck area and my back. So this is incredibly soothing for me. I do this I just have like better form as well and it just like looks better when you are in front of a camera because you have a lifted jawline but also a more contoured neckline as well okay, now we're gonna do the other side Good job. 
Now we're down to our last exercise. The fifth exercise is going to be focusing on your forehead. And most people have their fine lines most protruding and evident in their forehead. So we're gonna help fight that. We're gonna use this ledge right here. And this goes back to the technique I first mentioned earlier, Put it right here, but don't make it perpendicular. Angle it to a 10 to 20 degree angle like this, and then slide it across. And then get to the edge right here, and then release it, okay? So start from right here to release. This also helps reduce a lot of tension in your head. If you have a lot of stress and work to do, just do this in the morning to release that stress during the day. And this is a great way to help meditate during the day as well. Alright, now we're going to go on to the next side. Good job, everyone. I hope this exercise was very informative and helpful. And if you want to see more at home glossa exercises like this, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will make sure to come back with a lot more videos like this so that we can all have a lifted, beautiful face. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next.